So recession is here, and what does that mean for silver stackers and investors in the precious metal? Is the bottom in? Okay, so perhaps maybe it is. But let's take a quick look today at an article from FX Street, which was published today, July 28th, 2022. It does cover the silver price news that we're looking for. And I'll go ahead and open up a couple of silver coins while we're at it and break it down for stackers here when we return. Hey, thanks for viewing today's video. So the print is in and it's recession for the United States. No, we're not changing any definitions here on this little channel. It's two consecutive quarters of declining GDP. So what does that mean for silver? As it has been pretty gloomy of late for the metal, we've seen prices on the decline now for quite a few months. Well, today silver was up 5% and we did see gold spot get back above $1,760. As the Fed recognizes, well, sort of recognizes, that is, that the United States may, in their words, be headed for recession. Okay, so depending on your definition, I like to go with the one in the dictionary. <laughs> but per the news yesterday, Fed Chairman Powell stated that the Fed was on track for its previously discussed 75 basis points increase again this fall, but that if the data showed it necessary to meet the target inflation rate of 2%, that the Fed would adjust that figure accordingly, meaning they're going to be going uh, sort of meeting to meeting now and not uh, providing as much uh, guidance to the market as in the past. Now, in my opinion, it felt as if the market had already priced this news in, perhaps a little deeper than necessary, as we saw that uh, prices began moving northward for uh, most assets, stocks, metals, crypto, over the last 48 hours. Okay, so when the CPI data came out for June, which showed a much higher than expected increase in the inflation rate. I do believe that the market rather anticipated that the Fed would consider uh, perhaps higher than uh, the uh, 75 basis points or even maybe a more frequent rate hike or just give guidance that would um, you know, perhaps drive things to the point where they got, right? The market does tend to over oversell and obviously uh, overbuy at times as well. So with that news... Uh, I'm going to be throwing up finger quotes here. Uh, everything is going according to plan, right? <laughs> per the Fed. Uh, that put buyers on notice, really. And we'll talk about that a little more in the article. Uh, but we have seen that with rising spot prices. Okay, so keep in mind that this print is, uh, the print for GDP here is backwards looking over the quarter that covered uh, March through June. So it feels as if the market senses it is a little more safe uh, to take on risk at this time. But of course, uh, not too much risk, right? As the GDP decline was uh, actually greater than anticipated. Uh, go figure, right? You know, once more, whoever these uh, CPAs or analysts are that uh, work for the government, I don't, I don't know. When, when have they got it right? So I'm sure the news will continue to uh, purvey that this is, you know, a, a mostly peaceful recession, right? You know, log on to the news and they'll try to kind of downplay it. They don't want people to freak out. So uh, or perhaps they'll say it's transitory, like the cash that continues to flow from my checking account these days. Money here today and gone tomorrow. So my recommendation, be careful out there, stackers. Perhaps the bottom four spot price is in. Uh, the article will touch on some indicators of that. Uh, it may even encourage you to buy, right? When you see spot price jump up $1.50, 2 bucks in a couple of days. Uh, remember that as prices rise, people will begin to FOMO into the market um, but you watch this channel, okay? You're not uh, just now discovering silver and going to run out and mortgage the home for it. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you've been here for a while. And if you are new, then uh, take a look back at the whole video catalog. We encourage the slow and steady way here, uh, obviously making larger purchases when prices are low. And when I say prices, I'm talking about spot price and premium, not just the spot price, okay? So, uh, if you feel the need to go deep on your next play, right, uh, maybe it's third and long in your mind and you need to get some yards here, then consider a large uh, generic silver bar, uh, perhaps to keep your premium per ounce down. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, each person, each purchase that is should be a long purchase for you, okay, because you are paying a rather large premium to uh, 
take a position in physical silver or gold, right? If, uh, you know, silver spot price is 20 bucks and you're paying 25, you know, you got 20%, 25% actually premium there on that purchase. Uh, so, you know, you're not going to pay that premium if you were investing into um, a stock or a crypto, right? I mean, you might have to pay a small brokerage or purchase fee, but when it comes to physical metals, the premium is high. So I really would like you to consider each purchase as a longer term option for you, okay? Uh, short term tends not to work out well for physical accumulators. Now, when it comes to those looking to sell silver, remember that spot being low uh, does not really make it a desirable desirable time uh, to sell either, okay? Yeah, sure, you'll get a little bit more premium back than, uh, you know, years gone by, but for the last few years, premiums have been pretty high. So unless you're the Tom Brady of stacking, then uh, what I mean by that is uh, you're not only really good at it, but you're also, you've been around for a while and been doing it for a while. Uh, perhaps you were loading the safe up uh, you know, with silver under $10, maybe under $15 uh, per ounce, then, um, you know, most of you are probably not Tom Brady, right? There's only one goat. So most of you are probably like me, and uh, that means you're likely underwater in dollar speak terms when it comes to your stack, obviously holding uh, ounces in physical metal, uh, regardless of the dollar value of spot price or spot price, that is, uh, it has its benefits. OK, but, um, you know, all, all in all, we would ideally like to see that over, you know, length of time, our purchases accumulate in value. Right. Isn't that kind of the point? Kind of the point. One of the points, not all the points, but it's it's, uh, you know, it is a point. <laughs> so. All right. So that's enough for me. I'm stacking super slow these days, as you can tell, and I'm holding on to what I've got. Uh, it's just not a good time to really go heavy for me. Someone who's got several hundred ounces of silver, uh, nor is it a good time to sell. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of things that I would want to take, uh, you know, that value that I have in silver and uh, put it in something else. Uh, interest rates are rising, right? So, you know, real estate is getting more expensive. Uh, the crypto market is showing some signs of recovery. Uh, it's still a pretty good time to accumulate long term there. I think certain coins, just like, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, I don't mess with uh, the crap coins. Uh, and also, you know, uh, um, Perhaps an ETF like uh, the Spider S and P 500 might be a good time to start averaging in. Uh, it, it feels like things are safer than they were right uh, a little bit before. But once more, once again, not financial advice. Just a guy in his 40s here that uh, likes to stack, invest, and uh, try to you know build some wealth. Right. So, all right, let's get to the article. Silver prices remain firmer around a two-week high near 1965 during Thursday's Asian session. In doing so, the bright metal justifies the upbeat signals from the options markets after the U.S. Federal Reserve favored commodities and antipodians. That said, Fed matched market forecasts by announcing a 75 basis point increase. The underlying reason for the pair's weakness could be attributed to Fed Chairman Jerome Powell's speech as it signaled that the hawks are running out of fuel. Key comments from the Fed's Powell were that the rates had reached neutrality, or neutrality, that is, so there won't be any more forward guidance. He kind of touched on that, right? He basically stated they're just going to go kind of meeting to meeting, as well as rates will be decided meeting by meeting. There you go. It is worth noting that the one-month XAG USD risk reversal, a gauge of the spread between call options and put options, so those looking to purchase potentially on the futures market or sell on the futures market rallied to the four-day high by the end of Wednesday's North American session. So at the close of Wednesday, uh, things were looking bullish for silver and we did see that. Okay. So in doing so, the options market barometer justifies the commodity traders optimism favored by the Fed's latest actions. Okay. So the quick and to the point here on this one is while not exactly what I said, the last sentence really puts it together for us. And that's that the barometer justifies the commodity traders optimism favored by the Fed's latest actions. All right. So the market tended to favor futures contracts for silver. That's a good sign for the metals price to increase and assets across the board were largely up today. We saw that as well as yesterday. So even Bitcoin a little bit finally and stocks, um, Looking, looking better today, right, than before. So, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Still stacking over here. Going to finish up some tubes, American Silver Eagles, Krugerrands, as you saw. And remember to stay within your budget when you're making your purchasing decisions. It's a whole lot easier to buy than it is to sell, my friends. So keep that in mind. Think long. Uh, if you're going to go uh, big on a purchase, uh, look for those lower premium options. 
definitely consider saving some cash. I think you're going to need it. Remember, the midterms are just three months away. Probably a lot of volatility in the market. Um, so, you know, don't overstack. Be smart about it. Okay, guys, stay careful. And we'll see you soon on another video. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.